you took science in your high school and now every common family gathering starts with beta will you become an engineer or a doctor and when you tell them that you're interested in basic science research physics chemistry bio maths they look at you like you said you're going to become a magician sounds relatable My name is Soumya Prakash and today I'm going to bust five common myths that Indian parents unknowingly have related to science careers. Number one, science equals to JEE or NEET, nothing else. If you're studying science, then you ought to become either engineer via JEE or a doctor via NEET and other examinations. True, right? No, there is a world beyond JEE and NEET called as basic science research domain and related to that. And I've personally seen thousands of students choosing the lesser known but a very powerful path just because they were passionate related to basic science and natural science and wanted to do research in those areas. The irony is most of the students are not even aware about such path until they found and sometimes it becomes too late for them to transition from engineering to a branch or a domain that they were actually passionate about. For example, you were raised looking up in the sky on the stars, planets, etc. And you become passionate about doing the study, doing the research to uh, become an astrophysicist. You don't know what an astrophysicist means, but you wanted to become something like that. But you were forced, you did not know about how to become an astrophysicist or something like that exists. Uh, you started your engineering and now that you know that something like basic science research into astrophysics existed and there is no going back. And uh, what I don't want is you regretting your decision ever in your life. So just because of these kind of scenarios, it's very important to be aware and of course help people around you becoming aware about uh, these domains as well. Number two, there is no job if you don't become an engineer or a doctor. So people ask research, eh, scientists, but what will you do? You will uh, not have any proper job. No. Degrees and expertise and skills in basic science can open up opportunities in vast areas such as biotech, pharmaceuticals, data science. Recently, you might have heard about the Indian astronaut Subhanshu Shukla, right? He also holds an MTech degree from ISC Bangalore and uh, he just finished his mission AX4. And so that is how basic science research and if you have expertise and skill, in any of those areas, it, it can be data science, it can be analysis, it can be biotech, that can open, open an ocean of opportunities for you. And eventually, I've seen many of basic uh, scientists or natural scientists, bi biologists, chemists, physicists leading tech roles with their skills as well. Science is not a dead end, it's a launch pad. That's what we need to think. And with that, let's discuss number three, which is Pure science is for those who are not able to crack JE or NEET. Well, what do you think? IAT and NEST requires logical skills, high order thinking, ability skills. You need to think from a researcher's perspective. Well, that is sort of true. But if you think that if you don't get into IIT or AIMS, and if you are decided to do physics, have you taken a wrong decision? Well, no because you have the passion to understand how the world works. What is the underlying science behind all the phenomena that you observe in your, not just daily lives, but in highly sophisticated scenarios as well. So definitely that people who choose science and related careers are not leftovers. They do it on priority, they do it by choice. I've seen many people skipping top IITs and uh, medical colleges just to pursue their BSMS or BS research and UG degrees in institutes like ISC Bangalore, ISER Pune, NISER, so on and so forth. Which brings us to our point fourth, science does not pay well. Well, just to bust this myth, I know many people who are earning Indian currencies 30 to 40 lakh rupees per year while doing PhDs outside India. And many of ISRO DRDO scientists are uh, top tier earners in government positions and they earn pretty well from 1 lakh, 1.5 lakhs to even 2.5 lakhs per month. And if you 
blend scientific skills expertise with tech and something like entrepreneurship then sky is the limit and of course you can do wonders while getting recognized and creating societal impact worldwide and let's be honest like would you do a job which is very boring and pays you rupees 10 lakh rupees 10 lakh per year or would you do something which is very exciting and you're passionate about so that you have opportunities you have chances to uh, dig up your way out and uh, do wonders these areas can in include climate change cancer research or quantum computing so they are not just uh, jargons that for for the science related books they are actually getting up in real world solving real problems such as quantum computer quantum key distribution quantum technology cancer research gene editing crispr which is gathering no prices all around the world and uh, bringing in all the eyeballs closer on this topic so that we can solve real world problems and of course make an impact on the society and now our last point point five is science has no real world impact this is very important because people tend to overlook what all scientists are doing uh, despite of uh, the fundings resources support etc so most of the times people ask this question to the scientists why are you doing what are you doing is what you are doing even important is, is it even useful so let me tell you from the iPhone that you touch or any phone that you touch to your refrigerator to the computers to all the things that you see around yourself are discovered or invented by scientists so that is how lots of uh, daily use items that we see around ourselves was actually they were actually invented or made for scientific experiments then they were uh, brought out for common people to use right uh, let me know have you heard about dna sequencing quantum computing brain computer interface neural computing neuromorphic computing and uh, active matter biology so all these things are getting into reality for example 10 years or 15 years ago artificial intelligence was not uh, even real right but now it can do pretty much many of your tasks right so these are all developed by machine learning engineers computer scientists mathematicians statisticians data scientists right so that innately establishes the importance and significance of the work done by the scientists if you have heard about any such things at home or outside please know that you're not alone at Syastra, we are building a science community in fact we are the leading and largest science and research community across india with more than 25000 people and our mission and purpose is to make science aspirational again and that starts with students like you so definitely if you are interested about science doesn't matter where which position which class you are in you can be in 9 10th 11 12th you can be pursuing a degree or you can be in a job definitely consider subscribing syastra english so that we can bring more such content related to science and it's important for you and definitely if you have any questions any queries criticisms let us know in the comments so that we can work on it and keep improving ourselves for uh, bringing more such content <music>